Hello there guys, my name is of course Kritz and welcome to another generic gaming commentary. But today I have a tutorial for all those who want to improve their frame rate on DayZ. And in my opinion this is quite a significant boost. You may not think it if you're running a monster rig in like thousand frames a second. But if you're running 1020 frames this is going to make a hell of a lot of difference. Basically by using a simple trick we can remove all of this clutter on the ground and nab pretty much anyone a 5 to 10 frame boost. Which may not sound like a huge amount but when you're running low frames that will make a world of difference. And for those of you who maybe don't have the best of computers but you want to record or something this will, uh, this will give you an opportunity to do so. But anyway before I begin I just want to say that you don't have to download any suspicious files or scripts to do this nor will you get banned. This is simply removing a file as it's that simple and you will face palm when you see it the weirdest thing is not a lot of people know about this like it took me ages to figure this out and i had to read a lot of shit but then you know it's just that simple anyway before i begin another thing i want to point out is that there might be some ethical issues surrounding this like oh it gives you the unfair advantage of removing the grass so there's a player over there you'll be able to see him i mean grass isn't that great a camo if there was a guy lying here it's just like Oh, he's, he's there in the grass. There he is. Just, just, just shoot. So, I mean, don't, don't go bitch about it. I guess it is an advantage. Maybe if you drop an SVD to camo down there, you might not be able to find it. But it's far more of an advantage having better frames. And if you have good frames, give, give, the, give the people with the bad computers a chance. Give, give them a chance. But anyway, let's get to it. All right. So, basically... To remove this, you're going to need to do two steps. It is that simple. Step one, navigate to where Armour 2 is installed. For me, it's on my solid state drive. If you don't know where your Armour 2 is installed, look in the description of this video and I will tell you where they are. And then you just got to follow the simple instructions. <laughs> anyway, going to go to your Steam directory, Steam apps, common, Armour 2, and then add-ons. And now when you're here, you're going to get all these .pbos. Basically, these are the resources for the game. Now, obviously, there's going to be a resource for that grass and shit that's on the ground. So, only enough, it's called plants2 underscore clutter. Clutter, as I was saying. Now, to get rid of all the grass and everything, you just gotta press Control x go back a directory, Control v And there you go. It's as simple as that. Two steps. Maybe like five, if you wanna make Control x a step. I don't know. But it's as simple as that, and... No changes happen to the game other than you get 5, 10 frame rate boosts and there's no shit on the ground. I mean, it's just win-win. And you won't get banned as far as I'm aware because it's just missing a file. It's not like battleizing, like, you missed a file, I'm going to ban you. Just make sure you don't delete the file because if you do that, there is a chance that you might have to re-download the game. I'm not too sure because I haven't done it myself. But anyway, that's about it. I'm just going to go ahead and launch DayZ and we shall see the changes. I'll be right back. Right, so we're in Daisy, and once you reach this multiplayer setup screen, you'll come up with the error message cannot open ca slash plants to slash clutter slash c underscore grass tool dot 3pd. Now, I've been on a lot of servers with this, and you just press continue, and you're in the game. So, I mean, nothing bad happens. Obviously, the server's got anti cheat, script and hack scan completed, cheats were not found. You will not get banned for this. There, there is no way. And when I jump in, Things things be good. No grass on the ground. Everything's nice and clear. And I'm getting nice frames. For me, it doesn't make too much of a difference because my computer is relatively good. But for those of you with the bad computers, this, this, this will make it so nice to play. I swear to God, it saved me. It was just the best thing ever. But anyway, that's about it. If you liked this video or it helped you, then share it with a friend or maybe give me some feedback in the comments for a like or something like that. I don't know. Maybe a subscribe if you want to. I'll probably make some more videos sometime. But anyway, thanks for watching and hooray for me for coming back to making videos again. I'll talk to you next time.